How you doing folks, it's Angelo here and I'm here for another um, product spotlight review for the Razor Company. And I'm going to be using uh, Autumn Cabin by McDuff's. It's getting into that time of season, time of the year, and it's, uh, you know, fall is coming, the leaves are changing. So this pairs really, really well with, uh, with the look outside as well as the feeling and the scents. So speaking about scents, um, this is by McDuff's. It's Autumn Cabin, and it's got it right here on the label. I love that uh, Sean over at McDuff's does tremendous work. So you got uh, toasted maple, um, evergreen, cedar wood, vanilla, pear, and lemon. And right off the bat, when you look at the tub, very soft cream, by the way. Highly recommends uh, loading in the bowl. Uh, it's, very, it's, a, it's a softer cream. Um, so if you do load off of the puck, just a couple of swirl, guys. You don't need that much because you will overload and you're going to have a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of soap, a lot of lather and need a lot of water. But um, always recommends because it's a softer type of, um, you know, top of soap. So you want to bowl lather it and beautiful pour. It smells amazing right off of there. And I have the matching aftershave I'm going to be using. Also Autumn Cabin. I'm going to be using, I got about two days of growth, so I'm going to use my R89, my uh, Mula, and I have the soap lathered up in my fine accoutrements lather bowl, this is the black and gray, and I'm using the, the TRC, the Razor Company synthetic um, brush there, and very great little synthetic brush. You can get them, uh, I think they're about, right now as, as of this filming, they're about $14.99, I believe, on the Razor Company. So if you go there, you get all these fine items, the Razor Company, the RazorCompany.com. But let's get into the shave. Oh, man. So Sean over at McDuff's out of Alberta, Canada. And <clears throat> he's been making soaps, stuff, and wares for several years now. And does tremendous work with this here. I do definitely is going to be a tallow base. Yes, it is a tallow soap. And I also tend to use, I have a, they call it bougie sprayer, Mr. Um, with, I have it filled with uh, distilled water because where I'm at here, in Michigan, we, uh, the location where I'm at, Southeast Michigan, we have a little bit harder water, high calcium. Um, switching over to using distilled water like that to build my lather, game changer, guys. So if you have harder water or if you just want to up your lather game, get a uh, get a jug, the buck, whatever, 89 cents of distilled water. Or put that in a, a mister like that. There you go. Proof is in the pudding. Lather, I should say. <laughs> and this feels tremendous on the face. Oh, wow. So right off the bat here, I am definitely getting the toasted maple. Um, I used this set the other day, and I was taking my kids to school. And they're like, Dad, you made pancakes? Did you eat pancakes with maple syrup? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's the... Uh, that's my shave, so that's my aftershave, and it was Autumn Cabin. So uh, there's no denying it. You will get the maple scent. Um, great homage to our friends of the north in Canada, but it is a beautiful scent. And then after it starts to dry down, you you will then start to get more of the, um, like the woods, like the cedar wood. I was trying to remember which one, but yeah, the cedar wood you'll see, and then some of the citrus, the pear uh on the back end there it just blends really nicely sean just tremendous work when it comes to fragrance and i am using a fresh gillette nasset blade um in this r89 kind of hear some of the feedback a little bit like i said i got about two days of growth <clears throat> and uh, this goes through nicely. I wanted to use a little bit of a sharp blade because this is a milder type of uh, medium to mild razor. 
So I wanted to up it up a little bit, so I wanted to use something. Um, I don't have any feathers, so I had that one there, the NASA blade. Great blade. Um, typically one I'll throw in here, or I may do a 7 o'clock Permasharp. Or a Wizomet Iridium blade in this. And another good one that's out there. And mind you, all these items can be had from the Razor Company as well. So, um... The German Schick blades are also really nice. So if you have a medium, milder razor, uh, if you, and if, you know, if you don't have feathers or if you don't use feathers, um, feathers, one of the sharpest out there, same with Kai blades, uh, these are all great options. Like I said, for me, but. It is what works the best for you and your skin. Just like this soap here, oh wow. Yeah, so Sean that McDuff's has uh, this series that he does, the cabins. Yeah, spring cabin, summer cabin that we just had. Now this one here, autumn cabin, and then there's haunted cabin that is going to come out here pretty soon again if um, if he's re-releasing it. I'm not sure, but he does these series. Um, as well as the, I believe the Explorer series as well. So it kind of gives them a a cue on how to to run that uh, and how to run that scent profile. You know how to construct. And he's been doing that. So I mean, the summer cabin is beautiful, very bright, very um, very uplifting. Same with the spring cabin. Um, like I said, this is my time of year. <laughs> Though he has another one out there right now as well that came out the same the re-release of this one of autumn cabin and then he has one that came out which is harvest sky oh my gosh that is a beautiful scent so it's got like the uh the apples and stuff like that like the crisp um not really a granny smith but more of like um like a cider apple and, oh man that was really good it's definitely on the on my to get list for sure but if you love the smell of uh, fresh maple, but not just that, but also the toasted maple. So think of it like you're outside, you know, it's hoodie weather, you're walking, you're going on a stroll, you know, you're, you're hiking out in a, on a trail someplace. You see all the, you know, all the leaves changing, falling and stuff like that. And you're eating um, one of those like cone shaped containers of the, like the maple toasted uh, almonds that you can get, you know, like from the fair or whatever, but you know, those type of things. Um, picture that scene. That's what I think about when I use this soap. Besides maple syrup pancakes. Uh, but, uh, or maple donut. But yeah, so eating a nice, warm, big, huge bag of those um, maple candied almonds walking down a path in the middle of the fall. That's what this takes me. And I love that. So if you're able to get it, I really recommend that you do. Um, now, as far as the base, yeah, slick, very nice. Nourishing, just applying the water just now, if I wanted to do a second pass with just that, I could, but I love the feel of this. I love the smell of it. So I'm going to do it justice and of course do a second pass. I always do a second pass. I go with the grain and then across the grain. Um, I don't chase BBS. Uh, I could. I have before, but my skin reacts the best just with the two-pass shave. So Plus I like shaving every day. So... <laughs> Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful lather. Beautiful lather. McDuff's space. I think it's probably one of the artisans that we have in our shave den that we have uh, multiples of as far as different scents, different offerings that they do. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. Feels amazing. It just feels just 
I mean, you know, slick, cushiony, but also I can feel it nourishing into my skin, especially on the second pass, because now I just did a shave, my first pass, and now I'm using on my, for my second pass, and it just feels like just nourishing on the skin. So, look at that, yes, oh man. One thing I noticed that with McDuff's, if I was to three pass shave, I would have no problem. And I put, as you saw, I mean, I use a, uh, a guitar pick a scooper, probably about a good scoop, and you know, about a walnut size of soap. And you see how much I got in there. So if I was to do a three pass, four pass, yeah, you know, it produces well. And also using the uh, the distilled water on top of that. I mean, there's absolutely no problem because it, it produces a great a great lather, and it's not overly like the way I do it. It's not overly like poofy, voluptuous, like very very fluffy, like a Santa's uh, beard. Um, not the jump seasons, but, um, <laughs> I like it because it, it stays a little bit lower structure, um, compared to some of the other, like, big poofy ones. And I like that because I also use, uh, straight razors and chevettes. Like, I have a feather chevette that I absolutely love, um, or a straight razor. And so I want to be able to get into those lines and being able to see, but also have great glide, great slickness that you want, that you really, really want if you're using a bare blade like that. So if you're using a straight razor or a chevette or a weck or anything like that, um, you want a soap that's gonna be able to provide good, good slickness, good glide for that, you know, for that blade. And McDuff's definitely provides that. So this is one of the companies, one of the soaps, uh, one of the artisans that are out there that I know that I can trust and I can grab if I'm going to, if I want to do a straight razor shave. Uh, I have no reserve to be able to, to know that I'm going to get a good shave. With, uh, with McDuff's. So if you're a straight razor shaver, or if you, even if you use a, a DE, even if you use a cartridge, I know, you can use, use McDuff's. So, I mean, there's a lot of great artisans out there, make some tremendous work, and Uh, Sean definitely adds to that repertoire there, adds to that, uh, to that lineup for sure. No problems. Oh yeah. That feels great. That was a shave, guys. So I just dipped the, my, got my water here full, a sink full of water here. And just by the slickness, I can just go back and do a touch up real fast. No, no problems. Oh yeah, perfect, clean as a whistle. All right, now I'm going to rinse, mind the water, I apologize guys. I'm going to rinse, oh, a little bit there. I tell you, just by the slickness alone, just by the residual slickness, I can just do a touch up real quick. It's always a spot right there, this part right here. Well, no problem, good. And there we go. All right. And that was a shave. Oh my goodness. Love it. This smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. So I know my kids get out of school today. They're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, maple something, didn't you? It's a soap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the aftershave. All right, there we go. So we're gonna use this aftershave. 
And there we go. So he does mainly, uh, I know, I want to say, I think most of his stuff here is going to be witch hazel. I really don't get more, I don't get a burn. It's just smells amazing, feels great. Nourishing skin food. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. That was our shave, guys. Thank you for spending this time with me. And thank you. Definitely recommend it. All these uh, products here can be had. Go to therazorcompany.com. And again, take care of each other. If you're able to, go outside this fall. Enjoy yourselves.